Hi, everybody. I'm Argle Fumpf. I'm here with my daughter, Rosie. Hi! Want to tell them what we're playing today? We're playing Spy Fox 2. Yes, this game is called Some Assembly Required. So, let's restart the game from the beginning again. Uh -huh. That way you can see this opening scene and, and not be confused as to why Spy Fox is closing his eyes in a in an icy place. <laughs> Somewhere in the Alps. Somewhere in the Alps? So, Agent Gracefully, you're part of our spy exchange program from Canada? Try not to say my name too often. I'm trying to travel incognito. Actually, you're traveling in the Alps. What do you have there? I got something very important out of a smelly trash can. Well, of course it's smelly if you got it out of a trash can. You need a hobby. No, not smelly. Smelly! As in the society of meaningless evil larceny lying and yelling. Of course, our evil nemesis. Spy Fox, you've got to get this trash bag to Spy Corps headquarters. No, I've got a better idea. I'd better get this trash bag to Spy Corps headquarters. Oh, and take this gadget from Professor Quack. You may need it. What is it? Dehydrated skis. The side of this little pill is a pair of skis. All you have to do is add water. And pray tell, why would I need a pair of skis? I came to get information, not recreation. You may need them to get away from those bad guys. Good luck, my luck. Here's the helicopter hat. That's pretty cool. Look, oh, the bad guys. Bad guys? Got water? Oh, he's trying to get away from pigs? Is that it? Uh-oh. to get out of here. Although this would be a nice getaway cottage, I've got to get this bag to Spy Corps headquarters. Yeah, water. And he, he, he has a, a water... Gadget! Yeah, let's use his water gadget in his pocket. And he's also got a smelly bag of, of smelly stuff. So do we sound okay? Does the game sound okay? Just let us know here in the chat. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. Yep, Rosie's here today. Hooray! It's a pair of dehydrated skis. So, we need to put it in water. Water, work your magic. Whoa! The dehydrated skis are now rehydrated. Kind of amazing, so let's ski to safety. Feet don't fail me now. Skis, I mean. <laughs> Which way should I go? Uh, away from the bad guys, right? Whoa! I wonder which way I should go. In the cave, in the cave. What? Oh. Ah! Oh, what's that? Is that a dog? Wait, did he just jump in an airplane? Did you miss me, Chief? So you've analyzed the trash bag, I see. And what have you found? It's a model box 1-1000 scale for one evil robot. On the side, it says, Some Assembly Required. Sounds like an excellent title for one of my adventures. It has a mailing label that reads, To La Roche, care of Chateau La Roche, World's Fair. Hmm. Inside the box are assembly instructions. You'd better take these with you, Spy Fox. Wow. You can learn a lot by reading. If Smelly is involved, they must be up to their usual no-goodness. You'd best go check out this World's Fair. 
Monkey, Benny, and Quack have already set up the mobile command center. I'm on my way, Chief. Spybox, are you okay? Shaken, but not stirred, Monkey Penny. So it looks like we're on to something big. Yes, I think Smelly is up to some monkey business, Monkey Penny. And it looks like it's up to you, me, and Professor Quack to get to the bottom of it. Well, you and me anyway, Monkey Penny. I brought the assembly instructions I got out of the smelly trash bag. Well, of course it's smelly if you got it out of a trash bag, Spy Fox. No, Monkey Penny, not smelly. Smelly, as in the Society for Meaningless Evil, Larceny, Lying, and Yelling. Our evil nemesis. Why don't you leave those assembly instructions here with me? Then you can refer to them whenever you're back here at the Mobile Command Center. And remember, you can contact me via your spy watch at any time. Don't forget to check out the spy vending machine, Spy Fox. It's full of new gadgets for you to try out. I'm sure you'll find some of them quite useful. Thanks. Now I need to go get busy and go give that LaRoche at the Chateau LaRoche a visit and find out just what he's up to. I do like how this game uh, starts us at the uh, mobile command center. Uh, let's see. So somebody said the game was a little bit too loud and we had to, like, wait for three minutes before we could actually change the volume. Okay, so now the game should be a little quieter. Let's check out our spy gadgets. The stealth vac. How does it work? You just hook up the handy nozzle, then press vacuum to suck up the particles into the handy travel bag. Or press reverse vac to blow the particles housed in the travel bag back out through the nozzle attachment. And it does it all in perfect silence. Ingenious, Professor Quack. I love a quiet vacuum. I prefer those between two slices of bread, but when duty calls... Some paper. What's this? Spy heat. This looks like some hot work. How does this gadget work, Professor Quack? Now, this gadget, I'm really proud of. You can spray it on something, say, like a thermometer, and watch the temperature rise right before your eyes. Now that's a gadget that really rises to the occasion. You could say that again. All right. Now that's a gadget that really rises to the occasion. But can turn anything hot? Light on the palate, rough on the tummy. Like melt a snowball or something. All right, so we're grabbing that gadget. Uh, I think we've also got this machine. This is a rather cool looking device. What is it? One of well, those an novelty ID. gadgets that lets you see what you'll look like in 50 years? It's an ID maker of my own creation, of course. It's for making identification cards. Fascinating. How does it work? You place a photo in the photo slot, choose an occupation, and any name you like, then press the Process ID button. A completed ID will pop out of the machine. Professor, you're amazing. What if I made an ID, but then I change my mind and want to make a different one? Well, if you don't like the ID you created, you could make another card. Just reset the name and occupation. Insert a new photo, then press the Process ID button again. That sounds like fun. Creating false ID cards is something only secret agents can do, and then only when we're on a case. Right! Yeah, don't make fake IDs in real life, okay, Rosie? Only if you're a fox on a spy mission. That's wow. the spy gadget vending machine. I don't think we need a coin for That's the vending the machine. That's the spy gadget vending machine. Lots of different spy gadgets, I see. Well, let's go outside. I think what we, I think we'll figure out. Uh, wow, that's that's a mess of a car. I think we'll get the uh, ID stuff figured out. Because I seem to remember that last time. Which way should we try to go in? Can we go in the front way? Hmm, the entrance is closed and it's locked up tighter than an impervious steel door. Oh, no! Okay, so this is Chateau La Roche service entrance. 
Excuse me, sir. What seems to be the problem? Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings, but unfortunately, I cannot allow you to enter through the service entrance. I'm sorry, but I can only let cashiers with proper ID in today. See? It has the job title of cashier and a matching photo. I seem to have lost my ID. Can you let me in without one? I feel your pain, sir. Really, I do. Unfortunately... Cashier ID. I'll have to find a way to get the proper ID. I think sometimes they want a chef ID. So let's get a picture of ourselves for the ID. It's a free picture. A free photo booth. Just one of the many joyous pleasures in life. Yes. Okay, so what what picture do we want? Ballerina costume. Jockey. Dishwasher. Uh -huh. Fisherman. It was cashier. Wrestler. Whoa, look at Wrestler Fox. Waitress. Uh -oh. Golfer. Tourist. Cashier. Ah, there we go. What background do we want? Dentist. France. Arena. No. Oh, the wrestler would be great in the arena. Arena. Yeah, let's do this. This is my picture. Say cheese! It looks great. Now we're gonna go back to the ID making machine and make ourselves a fake ID. And uh, let's let's get two more gadgets, shall we? Shall we? Do you want to get the gadgets first or the ID first? ID. ID. All righty. Insert photo here. Excellent. The photo's in place. My job is cashier. Great. What's my name? Chuck. No, 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 no. I'm, I, this is a fake ID, not a real ID. Chuck no. the cashier. I, I like Chuck the cashier. Chuck. Let's do this. Professor Quack's machine works perfectly. My identification card is complete. I expect that this will come in quite handy. Yeah, it should let us get in there like swimwear. Let's grab this spy gadget. Here's something weird he says. I'm in I bet these are cool. Spy skates, they look sharp, Professor Quack. How do they work? Spy skates, huh? I've always loved the grace and beauty of figure skating. But being in the spy biz never left time for the years of training. So I created these. You simply slip them on and insert a diagram of the skate maneuver you want to perform, and voila, the skates with you in them perform it perfectly. Well, what? those could sure help to put the villains on ice. Ah, right, Spy Fox. I like these new blueberry flavored blueprints. Blueberry flavored blueprints? No wonder he's always eating them. They sound delicious. All right, I'm gonna grab one more uh, little thingy here. That's the spy gadget vending machine. Uh, let's get this one. A spy key replicator can. What's the key to this gadget, Professor Quack? That's a one-shot camera like no other in the world. It's specifically made for replicating keys. You take a picture of the key you want to replicate, then bake it in an oven. The picture shrinks down and hardens into an exact duplicate of the key you took the picture of. It can only hold one picture at a time, but you can take a picture over another picture. If you bake a picture into the wrong key, just insert the key back into the camera and it will turn back into key film. I'm sorry, what did you say? Don't worry, it's a point-and-shoot, easy-bake gadget. It's a good thing I need my fiber. Okay, so we get a key copier, I, I, I suppose. And we also have those uh, assembly things. It's the assembly instructions for one evil dog bot made Yikes. by Smelly Toy Division. Yikes! A giant evil dog bot? I don't like that. Okay. Let's yeah, let's use our ID to get inside. I bet that will fool this guard. Here you are, sir. One cashier ID card. 
Oh my, I'm so happy that you were able to find it. Let me guess, it was in your other pants, wasn't it? Why, yes it was. You must be psychic. If you'll excuse me, I'm late for work and they need me in the restaurant. Oh, I understand. I won't keep you any longer. I'll just keep your ID on file for you, Chuck. Keep up the good work. Have a spectacular day. And if I don't see you tomorrow... This. What kind of cake would you bake for a baseball team? Why, a bund cake, of course. Come to the kitchen with China. Okay, that was odd. <laughs> Whenever I see a cool-looking oven like that, it just makes me want to bake something. Would you mind? First of all, ovens are not cool. They're hot and can be quite dangerous if used incorrectly. I'm afraid that only a fully trained chef can operate this oven. Stir, stir, stir. I think that's a puzzle. Like, we're, we need the oven to make the key, right? <laughs> so, uh, we'll probably have to distract her so we can use the oven. Well, let's go in here. Well, and here's the bad guy. Let's talk to him. Ah, Napoleon LaRoche. I should have known you'd taken up with the likes of Smelly. So Spycore has sent the famous Spy Fox to try and stop my plans for world domination. World domination? Er, uh, of course. Ha! Ah, since you're one of the few people who could possibly understand my genius, I will explain my entire plan to you in nauseating detail. You see, I reversed the scale on the smelly evil dog bot assembly instructions. I've created a 1,000 to 1 scale, fully functioning evil dog bot. Just where do you think you can hide such a monstrosity? You silly spy. You're standing in it. Of course, you've disguised the evil dog bot as the centerpiece for the World's Fair. Complete with a revolving restaurant. One has to eat, no? Observe the means to my world domination. People buying tickets for the World Fair do not realize that as they file through the turnstiles, they are unwittingly winding the highly advanced clockwork mechanism within the evil dog bot. When the one million person has filed through, the dog bot, now wound to maximum capacity, will embark upon its horrifying rampage of destruction. Oh. oh. Oh, it doesn't seem so bad. Oh, once I have unleashed the dog bot, all the world's leaders will sit up and beg for mercy. It is unstoppable. It cannot be called off because it has no off switch. Yes, I have removed the off switch and hidden it somewhere in the world's fair. So cleverly, so subtly, that you will never find it. That's what you think, LaRoche. Even if you did find the off switch, you would still need the activation code to turn the switch off. And even if you had the off switch and the activation code, you could never hope to get past the diabolically clever security device located in the evil dog bot's Achilles heel, which is the only way into the dog bot's inner workings. It is hopeless, Monsieur Le Fox. There's no way you can beat me! <laughs> so you find all three of those things to stop You'll him? You'll never get away with this, LaRoche. Oh, I think I will. Judging by those monstrous metallic molars, I've been imprisoned in the dog bot's mouth. How humiliating. I must find a way out of this cell so I can stop that evil roach. If I could only reach that fire escape through these teeth. I can gather information about La Roche with this talk balloon. So what's this? La Roche's goons didn't follow the assembly instructions close enough. They seem to have left a few gears missing out of this contraption. You want to solve this puzzle? Yep. I wonder where this gear goes. I think the middle. This one? This gear is too small. Oh, uh, well, it was in the middle. Okay, uh, what one do you think goes on this? A small one. This one, maybe? Yeah. And then what about this? That. Giantist? That did the trick. Aha! Perfect. Well, I guess it's like they say. The tooth shall set you free. 
<laughs> Talk about escaping by the skin of your teeth. Now to stop La Roche and his evil plans for world domination. My spy watch is beeping. Oops, I'd better spy answer watch is beeping. it. Please stand by. Spy Fox, Agent Walter Wireless has intercepted a microfish message from Dotty Dash. Where is it coming from? It sounds like it's coming from an exhibit called We World. We World, eh? Sounds silly. The message is staticky, and Walter Wireless needs to get closer to hear it. You can pick him up here at the Mobile Command Center. By Thanks. the way, I've recorded Napoleon LaRoche's evil plans, and I'm sending them to you via the Spy Watch. I look forward to hearing the dish. Monkey Penny, out. Great, so we need to get Walter and take him to Wii World. Which way should we go? There. We just sort of started the game, so we're at this we're at the point where we can fully explore now. So wanna go through the fire hydrant? Uh oh, security guard. That bad guy put on those glasses, breathed on that breath device, and the secret door opened. That must be the secret door La Roche mentioned that leads to the inner workings of the evil dog bot. I need to figure out how to get in there. Yeah, let's grab the sunglasses. But I don't think our breath is right. I don't know. We could try. These rose-tinted glasses might come in handy. Rose glasses always come in handy, I suppose. Getting rose glasses is a puzzle in the Lost Oregon City Gold. Okay, let's see if we can get in. Don't breathe on the machine, Spy Fox. The Achilles heel door is locked up tight. Press on the, press on the machine. Press, press yeah, click on the machine, yeah. <laughs> Happy rejected Kiwi and pancakes. This thing really does tell you what you've eaten, but it won't let me in, so I guess I need to eat something else. So I guess I need to eat something. I wonder what those rabbits were eating. What do you think? What's the secret? I don't want to get food? a headache wearing these rose colored glasses all over the fair. I'll just put them in my pocket. Which way do we go now? Where, where are the rabbits? I don't know where the rabbits are. Okay. So that puts on the glasses. Now how will we figure out what the rabbits were eating? In order to enter through that secret door into the dog bot, I'll need glasses like that bad guy was wearing and the right breath. Well, it doesn't look like we can go any farther in this area, so maybe we'll figure out another place. All right, which way do we want to go? Left, uh, down right. there, or right? right? Whoa, it's a garden. Is this plant world? Correct, my dear. I am Madam Ladybug, the slightly irritated owner of Plant World. Instead of the beauteous red rose I ordered, I have been sent a mutant Venus flytrap by Napoleon LaRoche. Nice cage, though. A locked cage for which I have no combination. On top of it all, this particular Venus flytrap has something in its mouth. Interesting. It's the off switch. How diabolical of LaRoche to feed it to a mutant Venus flytrap. I've got to get it out of there and find a rose for the ladybug. No small feat. Okay, so we need to find a rose. I can use this talk balloon to gather oh information about getting a rose for Madam Ladybug. Oh, it says we can feed the Venus flytrap a piece of turkey. <laughs> I, know I need it. to get that plant and somehow open its trap so I can get the off switch. We also need the code. What? Let's go that way. I don't think we can go anyway. Just out. All right, now let's check out this DNA place. Maybe there's a puzzle. Whoa, this leads to a bunch of other I'd places. Better answer my spy watch. Please stand by. Spy Fox, an informant has a hot tip about the off switch and is waiting for you at the Food of the Future exhibit. Ask for the candy apple. The candy apple. 
Got it. Bye. All right. Monkey Penny signing off. Spy Fox out. What? I bet this fair has somewhere where you can get food and we get a candy apple. All right. I think this food place might be over here on the right See? hand side. I was right. So let's ask for the candy apple. Aha, here it is. So that's my contact, eh? Brilliant disguise. I'd like a candied apple, please. Certainly, sir. Here at Food of the Future, all food is on sticks. It allows you to enjoy your favorite foods without using a knife or fork or having to stop what you're doing. Here you go, a free candied apple on a stick sample. Well, I have the candied apple. Isn't that just grand? Yes, but I, meaning me, have in my possession the candied apple. Only one candied apple sample per customer. Now run along and enjoy the fair, Pumpkin. Maybe she wants me to come back when there are less people around. Oh, well, this candied apple looks good. Watch what you're doing. No. You want to give me a well, there's our secret ah, contact. Lenny, you're the apple of my eye. What information do you have for me? Hi, Spy Fox. Listen close. Dan? There are spies everywhere, so don't look directly at me. This leaf contains the information that you need. This is too small to read. What do you want from me? I wrote it with my teeth. Dan? Now I got the split. People are starting to stare. Throw me in the dumpster. Suit yourself. Oh! I'm all right. Save yourself. All right, so we've got the secret code, but it's very tiny. I bet this is where we buy whatever food that the uh, rabbits were eating. Maybe we could just guess. Do you want to guess at what type of food? Uh, um, what do you think? I know rabbits eat, like, greens. That looks delicious, but I'm not hungry right now. Although that looks scrumptious, I think uh -oh. I'll pass right now. Spy Fox doesn't want to buy anything anyway. But keep you keep keeping it in mind. What do you think the the rabbits might want to be eating to get inside the lettuce. evil place? Lettuce. Oh, and this is a specific food place, so we can move a food from the left. We can mix foods together, I think. It says food cloning. Welcome to you clone it where you get two 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 for the price of one. Stereo Sheep. I'm Doll, and I'm Lee. Hello, Dolly. So nice to have you back where you belong. Let's see, let's see what the apples make. I, I think it just doubles stuff, but we don't have a food that we're trying to double yet. Clearly, we've got food puzzles in this game. Uh, dinosaurs. What's over here? The amazing caped cod. Let's talk to him. He seems kind of sad. I bet he's a puzzle. Something seems fishy. Cod, bear your soul. Oh, I'm sadder than an ant in the neck brace at a picnic. In the old days, it never failed. The caped cod would razzle and dazzle with his mighty cape of joy, and then the finale. A shot out of the cannon. Sounds exciting. Then, one fateful day. We were at a sea monkey convention, and my assistants, Goldie and Blow, were setting up my act. My lucky clear goggles were misplaced, and in their stead was a pair of dark goggles. So what you're saying is that you need your lucky clear goggles? You ever try to steer yourself with dark goggles after you've been shot out of a cannon, son? Not lightly, no. Well, it's impossible to see the target. He needs clear goggles. All right, we'll keep an eye out. And I guess we could ask him about the uh, other stuff too. Let's see, like La Roche or her? Excuse me, but could you tell me where I might find a rose? A rose, huh? Nothing rosy around here. It smells awful pretty around the ice rink, though. Maybe you should ice try rink. there. All right, I we'll might just the, do that. Let's go to the ice rink to get the rose. And I guess we can also ask about the bad guy. What can you tell me about Napoleon La Roche? He spends all of his time with his plants. He should be watching your act. He doesn't have proper audience etiquette. Yeah, I wonder what's this direction. Whoa! Let's look. 
What's this? Yeah. It looks like a pair of binoculars. I know it's a breath analyzer, but I can't see what breath is shown on that screen. Zoom in, maybe? That breath analyzer is letting that bad guy type with the glasses on into the evil dog bot's Achilles heel. Hmm, I still can't see what breath is shown on screen. There's too much of a rose tint on that screen to see anything. Wait a minute. The screen is rose, right? What if we put on the rose glasses and looked at the screen? Ah, these glasses really add a rosy glow to the whole fair. Groovy. Yes. I can see that goon breathing into the analyzer. Something's appearing on screen. It looks like pickle pot pie. That breath analyzer is checking for the aroma of pickle pot pie. Aha! We did it! I just need to eat some pickle pot pie and breathe into that breath analyzer, and then I'll be able to get in that evil yeah. dog bot. Let's get them. So let's get some. I can use this talk balloon to gather information about the breath analyzer food, pickle pot pie. Let's ask the food lady if she has pickle pot pie. Yeah, we dropped our glasses. Where did it go? Oh no, I can't pick them up. No, no, That no, seems no, like no. a terrible mistake, Spy Fox. Spy Fox, why did you even think about doing that? Yeah, I, that doesn't even make sense. They're still useful. Oh man. All right, let's ask her about pickled pot pie. Do you have any pickle pot pie here? Nothing like that here. Only food on sticks. You should try the Chateau La Roche restaurant. Try a restaurant, hmm? All right, I guess we can go back to the restaurant. Restaurant La Roche. La Roche restaurant. We were there earlier pretending to be their cashier. Let's go there. Say, can I have uh, wait, we've got some new places we can go to as well. Ice rink! Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, this is the exit. Hmm. And where is the uh, restaurant? Let's see where this is. This is Wii World! Oh, it's got keys, too. The only thing standing in between me and the inside is a locked door. What about that one key that we... That's the yeah. Box. What's the worst part of this job? Uniforms make me look like a security guard. But you are a security guard. Oh, yeah. Hey, hands off those keys. Those keys are to all the exhibits at the fair. No one can touch them but me. Yeah, we had a gadget which takes a picture of the keys, right? How do we know which one to take? Which key should I take a picture of? I don't know. I, I guess we could try to figure it out later. Please don't, please don't hit the table, Rosie. So let's see, ice rink. Ooh, roses. What if we skated, we would get the roses. Yeah. You seem a little bitter. The kids today have no memory of the great skaters. Remember Peggy Hamill and her camel belly locks? No, oh, I don't. So skates we got and skating roads. Yeah, but we need to know what, what thing to skate. So let's see. I think we have to ask this guy about the rose. First. The nice ladybug would really like a rose. Do you think I could have one of yours to give her? I'm sorry. But I can only give out a rose when an ice skater performs a perfect triple greasy axle. Okay. Triple greasy axle. I can eh? gather information about the triple greasy axle ice skating move with this talk balloon. Let's just copy what she pig does. I guess we can just ask the pig. And wait till she gets back. That's not going to do me any good. Oh. What skate? I don't know how to do the skating move. Can you tell me how to do a triple greasy axle? Sorry, kid. 
I don't have a clue. But I hear that there's an ex-ice skater working somewhere at the fair. Thank you. Somebody working here knows how to do it. All right. Maybe it's the guy at the gates. What can you tell me about triple greasy axles? I believe there's an ex ice skater once known as a masked she bear working at the fair that may know something about that. Bear? Is that her? Her, oh, yeah, her. It's B. Hey, B. Hey, B. Hey, B. Let's ask her. What do you know about the triple greasy axle ice skating move? You look tense. Let me give you a massage. I tell you, kiddo, I did the triple greasy axle as the masked she bear. In fact, that skating move is fully illustrated in the latest edition of the bi monthly magazine Skaters Weekly in a color diagram and everything. Color diagram? May I have that? It's all yours, sweetie. Thanks. Yeah, but let's see. We have the spice gates. So we'll put the spice gates. Put the picture into the spice gates. That won't do me any good. I guess I need to put the picture in the skates, not the skates in the picture. That's not going to do me any good. You can do that. I don't know where we can do that. Hold up there, sir. You have a stamp on your hand? No, I can't say that I do. I better stamp your hand so you can get back into the fair. There you are, sir. Have a nice day. Thank you. Out can go in and out. Go right in, Chuck. Go back to the Chateau La Roche. Yep. Can you prepare pickle pot pie? Why, I won the French cooking medal of honor for my pickle pot pie. Well, of course I can make it. Well, that is, I could make it. But I only have one pickle right now. Can't you make it with the one pickle you do have? Absolutely not. Good pickle pot pie must be made with exactly two pickles. Here, you can take this one, and if you can find another exactly like it, I'd be more than happy to make you some pickle pot pie. Oh, I don't want to do this. We'll just take it to the food Thanks, duplicator. Chef. Two pickles, eh? I'll get those for you on the double. That's gotta be the solution to this particular puzzle. Okay. Let's go get Walter at uh, Spy Command. Maybe give ourselves another spy gadget. I don't know. I'll still try to figure out how to get the... Uh, the... I've been waiting for you. Smelly is up to their usual bag of dirty tricks, I see. It's Walter. Hello. Walter Wireless. Spy Corps' top tracking buff. Good to be working with you again, Walt. Uh, you too, Spy Fox. The last time I ended up with a fever from being cat scratched. Right. Sorry about that. So, you picked up a microfish message from Dottie Dash. That's right, but all I could make out was something regarding an off switch activation code before the signal went dead. I've got to find Dottie Dash, Spy Fox. This must be important. The signal was traced to an exhibit in the fair called Wee World. Wee World, eh? Sounds like your kind of place. Well, Already hop aboard, there. Walter, and I'll get you into this Wee World. I'm in there like swimwear. <laughs> That's my line. Iron Riddler are like swimwear. Wow, look at how many pockets Spy Fox has. So I'm trying to grab this, um, but I can't put it on the skates. So if I try to grab the skates, I'm gonna open up the pocket. That's not going to do me any good. I guess maybe we need to put on the skates at the skating rink and then put the paper in the skates. Let's grab this. The termite grenade. I'm sure this gadget isn't bug free, Professor Quack. How does it work? You've got to be careful with this one, Spy Fox. Toss it at something made of wood and get out of the way. It's good for one serious pulping. That's not something you want laying around the house. 
Not unless you're good friends with a carpenter. These blueprints are an acquired taste I haven't acquired yet. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll just keep on playing. I'll, I'll visit that one spot. Alright. I was not going to go to Wii World. I was going to check out this spot. What is this? Aha! Uh -huh. It's a temperature thing, and I know we have a device that changes temperature. Do you ever think about how many candles you could make if you melted the wax figures? Don't even joke about that! This is my profession you're talking about! This is a wax mu museum? Hey, you! You cannot go in! The wax museum is not open yet! Would you believe me if I told you that I had my own television show on public access called Entering the Wax Museum? Yes, but you may not go in. And don't stand in front of that thermometer. I have to keep a close eye on it. Yeah, so we're definitely going to have to use that thermometer device there. Let me check out my theory. Uh, with the skates. Let's see, do I put on the skates here? Amazing! Professor Quack's spy skates feel like they were made for me. Oh, that's right. They were. Then we'll put on the paper. This should do the trick. I'm solving this puzzle. Of skating? Spy Fox is now the world's greatest skater. You skater, alligator. I was so good, I burned the skates out. Oh well, I don't need them anymore. <laughs> uh oh, he's you crying. Did it, kid. I haven't seen a move like that since Sonia Henpeck. Yay, a rose. Thank you. What a perfect red rose. Go and go for the road and... Yeah, well, we still need to figure out what the secret code is for that thing. I mean, to open the gate. So I'm not going to give her the rose yet. So in this building, we had a temperature thing, and I know we have Here's where a temperature I gadget. Spy. So let's use it. Just watch this spy heat the join up with a demo of his spy heat. Excuse me, but the temperature has gone up well over 80 degrees. Oh, no! I must call the air conditioning repair place. Oh, dear. I'll be on hold for hours. That spy heat certainly was the hot ticket. <laughs> I thought we were going to take his donut, but no, we're not. We're going to go inside here now. Hmm, I've got interesting things here. Ah, St. Joan of Bark. She made sure that every child in the world had access to ice cream. She became the patron saint of cold cows. Thomas Elephant, inventor of the mesh umbrella, light bulbs painted black, and shoes made out of bubble gum, gum shoes. After playing in them all day, you could have a stinky snack. Okay, you want me to try this? Wolfgang Duck, an innovative chef known for his imaginative pairings of fresh local ingredients with his own version of what's tasty today. I like to cook, and I'm an imaginative fox. A chef outfit just might come in handy. Ah, uh, you're right. What? No, don't steal his clothes. <laughs> Interesting. So now we get so many rabbits. Yeah. He has a full suit in his pocket. I bet we'll have to use that to get past that chef lady so we can get the key going. So, let's see. We're going to have Walter over here, right? Walt? Walt? Here you go, Walt. That won't do me any good. The only thing standing in between me and the inside is a locked door. Just 
Dang. That won't do me any good. Yarn. Which which key Here's should we I take a picture key. of? I guess we could just guess. I wonder which key I should take a picture of. Just guess. Let's do number key one. one. Yeah, now let's go to the oven and bake it. Well, okay. Get, get Maybe I'll get the extra pickle. Yeah. Get the extra pickle and then bake it. Extra pickle over here. Okay, come on. Pick up my pickle. You clone it? You got it. Got one, one, two, fold it. I have this pickle. Don't come running to us with your trouble. I think he wants us to fold it, doll. Very well, Lee. You do the honors. No, after you, I insist. No, please, after you. I'll do it. Don't touch that. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Yes, but does it do Julianne Franz? You can always tell what a customer's not going to buy, Lee. You speak the truth, doll. All right, we got two pickles. Now let's go back and get those pickles. Get a pickle pot. Ah. Double pickle. Amazing. Triple whipple. All right, where was the uh, chef? Do we have to just leave and then come back to reach the chef every time? I guess we do. Go right in, Chuck. Well, you know what we could do? We could also get some more spy here. All right, here we go. Here's your pickles. Here you are, two big juicy pickles. Wonderful! How exciting that you should find two so identical. They appear to be exactly alike. Perhaps they're related. Why are we looking at this piece of paper for so long? The secret to gourmet cooking is careful mixing of only the finest in the Hopefully we'll have the opportunity to try that one of these days. Voila! You. Oh, thank you. My Look. breath should now be potent enough to get me past that electronic sniffer and into the secret workings of the giant robot dog. Stir, stir, stir. Nice, nice. And now let's try the <laughs> chef outfit. Someone's in the kitchen with Dino. That on our Here's key. where I keep my spy. Stir, stir, stir. Ahem. Oh. oh, excuse me. I didn't see you come in, Chef Wolfgang. What a pleasant surprise. Well, I was in the neighborhood and I thought to myself, my, it has been a long time since I last prepared food inside a giant mechanical dog. Yes, well, of course, as a fellow master chef, you are welcome to make use of my kitchen. Uh -huh. That's very generous of you. I believe I... But you may not use my wooden spoons. The purple ones, they are mine and I need them. Of course, how foolish of me. You know, of course, that too many master chefs spoil the broth. Chef Dinah, I can honestly say that compared to you, I am merely an imposter. Oh, Wolfgang. You are such a kidder. You are too kind, too kind. Someone's in the kitchen with Dino. Someone's in the kitchen with Dino. Put the key in the oven, right? And that's it? Yes, yes, what a master of disguise. I have to admit that at first I thought Professor Quack's idea for a spy camera was half-baked. But it turns out to be pretty hot stuff. Someone's in the kitchen with Dino. Right, let's see if this key works and gets our friend Walter my into chef wheel. Outfit here, just in case I need it later. Oh, 
then let's get more spy gadgets. Or should we? Should we get spy gadgets or no? No. Okay, then let's just go back inside. See if that key works. There are a lot of keys to try. Where do you think you're going? That exhibit is closed. It's all right. I have a key. Oh well. If you've got a key, then go right in. Huh? Must be the wrong key. Mm. This isn't the right key. I'll just put this back in the spy key replicator cam in case I have to take another picture and bake it. All right, well, it's okay. We just guessed. Let's try again. Which key should I take a picture of? Let's try two. Key two. I'm just going to skip ahead and just, just keep going back and forth until we figure it out. Are you... May I use your sister, sister? I have to put on my disguise every single time. Oh man, so much work. Someone's in the kitchen with China. Okay, key number two. Let's see if key number two is the one that works. It does say number two above the door, so maybe that's the clue. Where do you think you're going? That exhibit is closed. It's all right. I have a key. Oh, well, if you've got a key, then go right in. Ah, the right key. Excellent. That's See, right. I told you I had a key. Too fast. All right. Okay, so let's, let's send Walter. Where's our buddy Walt? Here we go. There you go, Walter. You've got to find Dotty Dash, the microfish. You can count on me, Spy Parts. What is he doing? Trying to find a fish? This is Walter Wireless reporting from Wee World. Chances are good that I'll find my contact, Dotty Dash, inside that dream house. So we're playing this as him? This car is my ticket to the dream house. Gets into the car. I bet my contact Dotty Dash is in that dream house somewhere. Do I need to pull this, this lever? This is the only way to travel. Right. Dream house. I use this elevator. Whoa. Ow. Do you have any idea what we're doing here in the dream house? Doesn't look like there's anything we can click on. Looks like he's getting bored with me. This is Walter Wireless reporting from Wee World. What a shocking way to go. Alright, there we go. We've got buttons. Let's make a staircase. I've been told that it's impolite to stare, but in this case, I'll make an exception. <laughs> stare. Get it? It's a staircase, so he's staring. Go through this door? I can't go there with that refrigerator in my way. Okay, well, let's press the refrigerator button. This button opened that door. The refrigerator is now in cold storage. I can't get across this gap. The elevator seems to be at the bottom. All right, press the elevator button then. Life in the dream house, life in the dream house. Well, now things are starting to look up. What? All right, going up. Stop being so slow. It's just a little bug. My instinct tells me I'm getting closer to Donnie Dash's location. Oh man, more puzzles? Okay, let's see, do we move, what, what do these buttons do? This button opens and closes the bottom drawer. Okay. 
And the $74 million question is, who invented the retractable TV? This button do. I can open and close the top drawer with this button, but will it sort my socks? Close, but no banana. Close the top drawer? Oh, oh, wait, we can move the drawers out Typically, like that. Typically, I would open and close the drawer by hand. I bet we're making a staircase. So, like this. Calm, cool thinking pays off. Film at 11. Now we can go down, maybe? Around and around and down. This is Walter Wireless. Press the desk button. Yeah, is there a desk button? Oh, okay. Eureka. That helps. Walter, I'm glad you found me. I've been on surveillance here in WeWorld, searching the airwaves for anything suspicious. I intercepted a smelly message that has to do with some activation code. My equipment went on a fritz before I could get the whole message to you in Spy Corps, but I think it's really important. I'm sure it is, but if it was a radio message, how do you know it smelled bad? Not smelly. Smelly. The Society for Meaningless Evil Larceny Lying and Yelling. All right. Our evil nemesis. So what was the rest of the message? I need to transmit it to Spy Fox right away. Of course. The activation code is cherry, pineapple, orange. Got it. Walter Wireless calling Spy Fox. Please stand by. Come in, Spy Fox. I read you loud and clear, Walter. Did you find Dottie Dash? I did. I'm going to transmit the activation code Dottie intercepted to you via the spy watch. Stay tuned. Cherry, pineapple, orange. I've got it, Walt. Good job, Dottie. Thanks, Spy Fox. The rest is up to you now. Good luck, Spy Fox. Great, this we got is the code. Walter Wireless signing off. I've got the off switch activation code. Now that LaRoche is in for it. Ha ha! But we still need a couple of other things. What's this? Oh no, he's being evil! I had waited in line for over 12 hours to ride the ride, famous for its pastries of the past. A cream field adventure. It was the highlight of the fair. They then they refused to let me on because I was not tall enough to go to the turnstile. That's why he became an evil villain. He was very small. I thought that one day it would be I who would do the laughing. Ha <laughs> ha I am laughing. Ha <laughs> See, it is I who is laughing. Yes. Very soon the evil dog will be fully wound. And without the off switch there, there will be no way for anyone to stop me from crushing all the turnstiles and conquering the world! I see. So he's evil and just had problems with... I have already received the microfish message from Dottie Dash. Because he's so tiny. All right. Well, great. We finished. We, we got that puzzle done. Great. Uh, I feel like we probably need a spy gadget or two, though. We need to know. I would find it. Yeah, let's go, let's go see if we've got any ones that we can grab. Okay, it looks like there's exactly three left. Let's try, yeah, let's try two of them and see what the third one is. An alarm deactivator. What in the world could this gadget be used for? Well, it's used to turn off alarms. You attach one end to where the alarm signal is coming in, and then attach the other end to where the alarm signal is going out. The alarm signal is then redirected harmlessly into the alarm deactivator, I see. keeping the alarm from going off. It just looks like a wire with two alligator clips on either end. Yes, it's beautiful in its simplicity, isn't it? I once printed these on exploding paper. But man, did those cause heartburn. Wait, you Exploding paper? That would hurt to eat exploding paper, wouldn't it? 
Oh, no, it looks like we've got room for all the gadgets today. Let's grab this. Looks like a fork a and a spoon. Print replicator utensil kit. How does this work, Professor Quack? That's you eat this one up, Spy oh, Fox. You place the fingerprint sending fork device on your target's plate. Uh -huh. Then, when they pick it up to start eating, their fingerprint will show up on the fingerprint receiving spoon device. This is hands down one of your best spy gadgets yet, Professor Quack. I hope to follow it up with a matching salt and pepper shaker. Maybe if I mix these with a little goat's milk. Nah, let's not go there. No, no, we don't want goat milk. That was the last game. Yeah, we, we played that game. You can check our video. We're, we're playing all the humongous entertainment games here in our 2023 humongous marathon. You've only seen dry cereal? Now you get to see That's the Yeah, now you get to see the other Spy Fox games by watching our marathon. What's this? What's Dream House is so cool, right? Well, oh, that's the vacuum. We already know what the vacuum was. Yeah, that Dream House was an okay puzzle. It was gadget vending machine. It was amazing. I, I, it was a little hard for me at first to realize those were buttons we could push, but once I figured that out, we solved the puzzle. <laughs> All right, let's go back inside and see what puzzles we are trying to solve. Hmm. Get for the rose. Yeah. Madame, would this rose be suitable? I thank you. Now, if I could only open that display cage, I would replace that mutant fly trap with this beautiful rose. Sadly, however, I was not given the combination. I see. But you can still have the fly trap. Houdini, I'm not. I'll have to find the combination to that locked display cage. Yeah, I thought it was written on this paper. That won't do me Can't any you read good. Can read it? Did you put it in the water to make it bigger? I can see a circle, a triangle, and a square on this leaf. Circle, triangle, and square. Hmm. It's some kind of combination right. block for this display cage. I already have circle. Star? No. I did it! Oh, thank you, sir. I'll just replace that atrocious fly trap with his beauteous rose. Nicely done. I can dispose of that fly trap for you. How polite. Obviously, you're a fox with home training. Yes, I am housebroken, thank you. <laughs> He's housebroken. Uh, means he can use the bathroom. I was like, why? Why? Well, I guess we've got a giant fire hydrant with these dogs. What are we going to do with this Venus flytrap, though? What was it in its mouth? Oh, that's the off button. Right. Okay. So the big, scary dog machine. Okay, we've already done the food cloning, and we've already gotten this. We haven't helped out this guy yet. Hey, Cod, can I borrow those dark goggles? You can't borrow these until I get my lucky clear goggles back. Well, uh -huh. I need these for my act until then. I'm trying to find those goggles that we dropped. Drop those goggles. And where did we drop them? Here? Do I need the glasses anymore? <laughs> What do you know about that? Pickle Pot Pie did the trick. Now I can come and go as I please. Great. We don't need those glasses anymore. Good. That helps out a lot. Whoa. His head's just popping well, up Lotus everywhere. The analyzer was no match for a clever international spy like me. I must be in the belly of LaRoche's evil beast. I should have a look around. Well, and in the meantime... The fools are unaware that by simply entering the fair, they are making possible my plans for world domination. As they enter the fair, they pass through a turnstile, which rotates a series of gears beneath the admissions gate. These gears, in turn, rotate a giant underground threat that passes below the fair to the base of my cleverly disguised giant robot dog. No, really a well-disguised robot dog. You can see it's a big robot dog, right? Many the drive shaft, which turns 
yet more gears that wind up the massive springs that will power my unstoppable evil dog bot. Maybe we just need to destroy one of those gears. Comes to the turnstile. My oh, evil dog bot fight. will be completely wound. And then I will unleash the dog bot on the unsuspecting world and conquer it in the name of Smelly. <laughs> Holy Roach, that is a good one. Right, so let's see. Can I go up here? Whoa. This room. Looks like there's a handprint analyzer, though. Hmm. The opening and closing of that door must be controlled by some sort of fingerprint recognition device. Oh, we have the fingerprint uh, spy gadget. Yet. I bet we have to use it, but whose fingerprints do we get? A picture of LaRoche. Hmm. Ah! Oh, we need his fingerprints. I know exactly what we could do. Right, he's at the uh, at his cafe, right? So I'll let's just get, get him into that room. I'll have to find a way to get a copy of LaRoche's fingerprint. Let's use the fingerprint gadget at his cafe. I think we can also check out this thing over here to the left. It looks like a thing we can. Whoa! Flip and slide. What is this? Should we go left or right? Those fly traps are a lot like the one I got fly from Fly traps, Clockwork. huh? Hmm, maybe it's part of this fly trap puzzle. Ooh, who's this bad guy? I'm not going to let him know that I'm here. Wait, clear goggles. As long as that welder is looking over here, I won't be able to make it to that ladder before he sees me. Okay, I'll wait for him to drop those goggles and then take them, right? Because the one guy needs goggles. Oh. What can I do to get those goggles? Hmm. That welder turns his back on the goggles every time something comes down the conveyor belt. I wonder if I can get him to stay at the conveyor belt longer so I can get those goggles. Something I can do to make him stay there longer. We have a gadget. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. Vacuum. The, hmm, I don't think the vacuum would help. But we can try anyway. That's not going to do me any good. That's not going to do me any good. Okay, so we need to find a way to get past that alligator. What's this button do? Oh, jeez! This button controls feeding time for those mutant Venus fly traps. I wouldn't want to be in the same room with them while they eat. Let's see. What is it that fly trap? In that room, yeah. Whoa. I can't see anything. I need some way to shield my eyes. Probably need to get the dark goggles to go inside that room. Yeah. That won't do me any good. Goggles. Yeah, so we definitely need to figure out some sort of way to, to distract this guy. I don't think we have any items, do we? That might help. Here's where I keep my spy. Oh, you put that plant right there. He'll be like, wait, what? I need to Here's where wrong. I keep my spy. The plant with the button. I, I'm confused. The plant with the button? Yeah. Put this yeah. in there, okay. Um, no, it doesn't look like it's helping. And it doesn't look like any of our gadgets are working. Well, I do know we're trying to get that um, LaRoche's fingerprints. So let's go back and solve that puzzle. The one puzzle I know how to solve. I'm going to go there and get it very quickly. Going outside. Is that a boogerish boot? Oh, my oh dear, oh dear. Oh. Excuse me, what's the matter? I don't have a single fork for Mr. LaRoche's dinner, and he gets so surly when he has to wait for his food. Wait, he well, eats you know boots? the old saying, surly to bed and surly to rods. Ah, that's LaRoche's dinner? Yes, spit roasted boot bernays. Don't tell me. The sauce isn't. Oh, yes, it is. Ew. I think I'm going to be sick. Now where are those forks? I don't know. 
Well, we're going to give the, the fingerprint fork. Here you are. It so happens I carry a fork for just this kind of situation. A fork? I've been looking all over for one. I learned in boot camp it pays to have a fork at all times. Thank <laughs> boot you. camp. Because it's a boot Let's that they're this eating. Bernays out to Napoleon the Roach before he starts acting like a heel. <laughs> heel. That is also it's a joke. It's only a matter of time now before I have La Roche's prince. <laughs> Spit roasted boot bernays, my favorite dish. This boot was made for eating. And that's just what I'll do. Pretty soon that boot is going to be inside of you. There it is. Now I'm almost ready to give La Roche the boot. And I don't mean for dinner. They, they were uh, you know, singing. You good. <laughs> Someone's in the kitchen with time. <laughs> yep. They were just singing the song, uh, These Boots Were Made for Walking. So, let's see. We go inside here. Go up there. And we'll use his fingerprint to get inside. Let's give this a try, shall we? This will give us some sort of item to get the goggles. Like the old song says, a spoonful of La Roche's fingerprint helps the steel door go down. I think that's what the song says. Oh, the activation code. It's you know the what that code is. For the e dog bot. Cherry, pineapple, orange. Pineapple. Yeah, we want cherry, pineapple, orange. Cherry. Cherry. Orange. That must be the on switch for the evil dog bot. Ready? That's where the off switch goes. Just need to get the off switch out of this creature's mouth. That won't do me any good. Okay, what what do you know? First we need to grab the This is my spy watch. We'll see that flies and then that will come out. You can't eat with that in your mouth. Yeah. I'll probably get it to eat those I, I I'm gonna ask Monkey Penny specifically if we could ask her. Sometimes she can be helpful. Oh, yeah, Mobile. Please stand by. How's the mission going, Spy Fox? I've gotten into the evil dog bot, but I don't have the off switch. Time to go back and experience the fair. How can you talk about the fair at a time like this? Live it up and learn. Monkey Penny, out. That wasn't Mobile much of a clue. Command Center. Please stand by. Whoa. How's the mission going, Spy Fox? I've gotten into the evil dog bot, but I don't have the off switch. Time to go back and experience the fair. How can you talk about the fair at a time like this? Live it up and learn. Monkey Penny, out. Think the exact same thing. Hmm. Oh, what are we gonna do? We must bust out. Yeah, we need something in order to distract this bad guy. Here's uh, where I keep my spy gadgets. Wait for us to grab us. As long as that welder is looking over here, I won't be able to make it to that ladder before he sees me. Uh, well, uh, I, I was gonna maybe try clicking on the ladder at the right time. When the welder is looking over here, I don't have enough time to get to that ladder without him seeing me. Okay. I'll wait for him to be turned around. Go. Go. Yes. Do it, Spy Fox. That was the solution to the puzzle. Okay. No, we have another person. I bet we can switch this from slow to fast. The guard is watching, so I'd better wait. I can't go over there while the guard is watching. Yeah. Okay, now the guard's not watching. Hmm. 
That makes the conveyor belt go faster. What's that? We want it faster. That way, he's not looking at the goggles, so I can steal the goggles. I have the goggles. Make it go slow, so well, he is a bad guy, but I guess we can make it go slow again. Sure. We don't want to make this guy work too much. I don't need to adjust that anymore. I'll leave that the way it is. Oh, okay. He doesn't want to change it back. That's kind of mean, Spy Fox. Yeah, and I imagine, what if there was a puzzle we had to get that guy's, uh, I, the other stuff that guy was working with? It doesn't look like we have to do that. Yeah, give that guy the goggles, and then we can get the other, the, yeah, the dark goggles, and we'll go inside the, the bright room. Yeah, that's gotta be it. And we can put the plant that we have in the room. You can't eat with something in your mouth. Yeah, is the fly trap in the uh, room with? I mean, is the light room the one with the uh, with with all the flies? I think yeah, because when I looked at flies, I thought like those guys love to be in light rooms. All right, so now we'll we'll give the goggles to Cape's Cod. I believe these are yours, Cape's Cod. My lucky goggles. I can't believe my eyes. Ugh, everything sure smells a lot different with these on. You mean, looks a lot different, don't you? No, smells a lot different. Where'd you find these? Sorry, they've been in my pocket for a while. I've had pickles in my pockets. Uh, I've had a lot of weird things in my pocket. Sorry, sir. <laughs> the goggles probably smell like pickles now. Yep. Can I borrow your dark goggles, Cape Cod? Heck, son, you can have them. I don't need them anymore. Best not to use them for flying out of a cannon, though. Thanks, that's good to know. I hope I didn't put them in my pickle pocket. I'm definitely going to need to get this suit dry cleaned once I'm finished with this adventure. Oh, it smells like pickles. Gross, huh? Yep. All right. So back inside the giant dog. Where did we go? We went up here. That seems like it would be very scary for me. I would not like that. I remember going up. Putting on the goggles. The only thing that can complete this picture is a plate of pancakes. The light is bright, but this spy is brighter. Uh -huh. well, let's go from there into the the uh, fly trap room. Let's put our person. Yep, there's a spot right for it. That looks just like the perfect place to set this mutant Venus fly trap. Good thinking. Yeah, we didn't know there was a hole for it. I was just gonna like put it on the floor. Now let's go back through this bright room. I don't know what that is. Is that a bug? That is a very bright firefly. Okay. Press the button. All right, good job. Take the goggles off to press the button. Spit out the off button. You. Yeah, well, that that mutant Venus flytrap prefers to eat flies instead of off switches for giant evil dog box. Good, good for us. Okay, glasses back on. Yep, don't get your glasses back on. Looking safe and being cool. A spy must always be prepared. <laughs> Yes, it's yes. I have the off switch. La Rocha's evil scheme is crumbling. 
Almost done. Uh oh. Soon my diabolical plan will reach its fiendish yes, fruitions. I will Don't be unstoppable. Who, who, or what can possibly stand up to the onslaught of a big giant mechanical dog robot? My sophisticated machine of menace will march across the surface of the earth and claim it in my name. People will shout my name to the skies. Le Rouge! Le Rouge! Le Rouge! And I will say, yes, what is it? All the world leaders will sit up and beg for mercy. It's quite an even plan, no? <laughs> Okay, we've got to move quickly. And he automatically put the glasses on. I didn't have to do that. That's good. Hey, hey! Spike Fox, what are you doing? Stop that! Okay, we're gonna put the evil button on. We've already got the code. We've already got the code. Alright, we'll put the, the off button into place and press it. At Free last, up, the off Fox. switch is in its place and the activation code is set correctly. Oh. One million! Finally, the one million customer has come to the turnstile. The dog bot is now fully operational. Let's get it! Don't look, everybody! Press that off I button, Fox! This is a good sign. Oh no! Did it just no destroy a building? Has earthquake insurance. <laughs> Spy Fox, what are you doing? Hurry up! Hurry up! Get to, 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 to the off switch. Press it with Bad your nose. Box. Sit. What? Spy You called? La Roche, your evil days are over. I don't think so. The sun has not yet set. How do I fit in that tiny machine? I should go in after him. But go in after him! Okay, we're in a secret that lair. Roach won't get away from me. I wonder what he's up to now. That spy fox thinks no. he's so smart. I have one more trick to play before I make my escape through these sewer pipes. This computer program will set up a million toasters hidden in the dog box. Together, the toasters will simultaneously burn a million pieces of toast, leaving a dark gray cloud oh, lots of, over the field for of the toast. next 10 months. Much oh, like no. He's going to ruin the toast! Oh, no. No. There's a bug in the program! Um, I must check my variables and track down all the straight pixels. That dastardly LaRoche won't get away with that. Not with Spy Fox on his trail. Good job, Spy Fox. All right. So what can we do? We still have the goggles. Here's Rosie. where I keep my spy gadgets. Rosie. Okay, we have the vacuum. We have the eater it's thing. The termite grenade. Wait a minute. What if I just pull this lever? And that well, the water will go down and he'll slide down into this. I can't reach the bolt from here. All right, I'm going to save my Sorry. game. Just in case, what should we call it? Spy Fox. I just said danger. I don't know why. That hammer is too far to reach from here. To jump. Interesting. When that lever is thrown, LaRoche's escape card will plummet down the trap. I'm sure that's part of LaRoche's escape plan. I'll need to change that plan. 
Down. Oh. I'll have to get closer if I want to turn that bolt. How can you get closer? That lever looks like it attaches to the grate under La Roche. I bet when he pulls that lever, it will move uh -huh. that grate so he can make his escape. But where does spy? Oh, we've got stairs. That's how we do it. I see. What's this machine? I think that made the sewer pipe move. Good. Yeah. I said that wrench could come in handy. I have to break through that glass to get it. Okay, we have something to break glass. Not my shoulder. Not your Ouch. nose. I have to find something other than my shoulder to break that glass with. I bet that hammer we found will help. Oh, so this I see. So the pink pipe goes to Fiji, but the blue pipe goes to Spy Jail. Let's send him to Spy Jail. Yeah, how do you like him to Spy Jail? I don't know, but first I'm gonna grab that wrench. I mean this. This ball peen hammer looks interesting. It might come in handy. Um, I've played a number of uh, console games. Uh, usually, Nintendo Switch is the one I've played more recently. Um, but I, I can't set up my recording equipment without causing problems for my family because they want to watch TV. And, and you know, if I've got my computer and uh, all my recording equipment in front of the TV, Smash. that's the Go kind down. of a pain. But uh, my walkthrough for Luigi Mansion, Luigi's Mansion 3 for Nintendo Switch, people have been watching I've video done. number 5 of that walkthrough ever since like October. So it's been like the past nine months, everybody's been watching that walkthrough. Uh oh. That's not what I want to do though. No, 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 no. I don't want, I want it, I want the Spy Jail one, not the Fiji one. Okay, so what is this move? I think that made the pipe move. Great. Let's hit this a couple of times. Yeah, so we don't want him to be falling into the pink. We want him to fall into blue. To go to spy jail. Speaking of console games. Uh, the Pizza Delivery Boy Who Saved the World is available on Nintendo Switch, uh, PlayStation, Microsoft, uh, Xbox One. So you can check out my video game. Uh, yeah. Almost. Almost there. I think one, one more, time. one more. Yeah. And we'll go to Spy Jail. And I guess we'll go back up and try to figure out where that wrench gets used. Where does the wrench get used? Let's, I think. Uh, down there. I think it gets used down there. Maybe. That had a thing which looked like a wrench. Or uh, a bolt. That's a staircase thing. Yeah, I mean, but it's got a, a triangle. So I can use my wrench here. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. There, that moved the sewer grate out of the way. Put that grate out of the way. So now all I have to do is pull the lever, and then he'll fall down and go directly into spy jail. Ha ha! Ha! Speaking of underground areas, uh, you can also watch me play um, Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door. I played that on a GameCube. So that's another console game that I played. And let's pull the switch. Or lever. It's down the drain for you, LaRoche. Uh -huh. What? You again. Uh-oh. Right there. Ouch. Ha 
how humiliating. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> For doing such a commendable job in catching Napoleon the Rose spy box, you get my eternal gratitude. High five. I had excellent help on this case, Chief. Ah, yes. I present to you the Grand Golden Family Approved Fortified Supreme Certificate of Excellence. Thanks, Chief. It was all in the line of duty. Job Spy Fox, and we for got the, the fancy award, which we could print out if we really wanted to. Dangerous and destructive evil that is a very crazy certificate. The from the well, thank you very much for watching our video walkthrough. Bye. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Uh, you can check out our other videos. We've also played, uh, well, I mean, we mentioned we played the first Spy Fox game. Uh, we've also played uh, the Freddy Fish games. And I mentioned, yeah, yeah, we're, we're trying to play all the Humongous Entertainment games as part of the marathon. Yeah.